Okay, here we are on a Monday morning at the farm. I'm going to show you the easiest way you can get fertilizer, free fertilizer, uh, from your body onto your plants in your garden. Uh, this was inspired by uh, a study at the University of uh, Michigan, Ann Arbor. Uh, two years ago, uh, I got contacted by them, <coughs> a graduate student, who let me know that they were having uh, a huge study there on human urine as fertilizer. Uh, they were putting so much effort into it, they actually redesigned the toilets uh, in one of the buildings on campus to become urine diverting composting toilets so they c could collect urine uh, for this study. Uh, the reason she came here is because her dad was a professor at a, at a university here in Minneapolis nearby our farm. They've been coming out here for years and know that we do this. Uh, so I've got it all set up. I'm going to show you as quick as I can how you can get pee from your body onto your cauliflower and make it grow like crazy. Uh, the view you're seeing here is uh, our garden from our living room. Uh, you can see down there some hose and, a, and buckets. Uh, I'm going to show you how this thing works. Now the first thing you'll notice in our house here, <clears throat> as we get back to where the bathroom is, <clears throat> we have put in uh, urine diverting composting toilet I don't know if it's light enough for you to see but basically the uh, poop goes down the back the pee goes down the front uh, that's the beginning uh, we like to call it our donation room <coughs> and like I said we've been doing this for 30 years so you go into the donation room you uh, you pee into the urine diverting composting toilet comes down this hose here goes into a 55 gallon bucket the 55 gallon drum has a rim around it so that whenever you come downstairs and smell pee uh, you know that the barrels full and it, but it's not overflowing onto the floor uh, when I need the pee then I go into the corner here where our pressure tank is there's a faucet and I hook the hose to it, get water running through it. Then I bring the hose back over to the barrel, stick it into the barrel, and siphon the pee out of the barrel uh, down to the garden, which is where we're going now. It's not too far a trip. So here's the hose. There's the buckets. Uh, I did this this morning. I need some... I need some fertilizer for plants that are going into fall. So here it is. There's three buckets of pee, <clears throat> just uh, ready to be mixed with water, which is what we do down here. Uh, you know, a lot of people are kind of grossed out by, that, by the idea of this, which is why the University of Michigan <clears throat> spent so much money and so much effort to uh, help people understand it's not gross, it's not whatever, but it's really a great idea. So then I bring the I bring the the pee down here, and we've got uh, two buckets that are labeled here, right here. P T only. Again, so people get kind of grossed grossed out by it all. Uh, when you use P as fertilizer you got to mix it eight parts of water to one part pee which is what these this, this bucket right here which also says PT only uh, does that measurement so you mix the pee with water there's the hose and then you bring it out to the place where you want to put it on plants I've got a watering can here that uh, has a removable top so you can either sprinkle it on or dump it on, depending on what you have going on. Uh, here's what I want to show you right here. We started some late season uh, coal plants that we put in the garden, I don't know, a month ago or so. I don't know what it was. Uh, you can see they're, they're really doing quite well. Here's some more. Uh, 
you see the growth is pretty vigorous. The plants are doing extremely well. These all got PT'd when, uh, when we brought them out, put them in the ground, get them a PT right away, except for one plant to be the control because I wanted you to see how remarkable this is. And here it is. <clears throat> this is the control plant that we did not put PT on right next to these plants here that we put PT on. Everything you need for fertilizer is in P. It's the most important part of P. The poop is fine. You know, there's some, there's some, some uh, fertility in there. There's organic material in there. Most of that we just compost and uh, use it on flowers and stuff. What we want is pee. You want to separate your pee from your poop if you're going to use it for fertilizer. So uh, there you go. That's the difference with and without uh, this free source of fertility. Uh, I got to tell you, you know, I love my toilet. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little nutty, I'll, I'll, I'll admit it, uh, but when I go in my toilet, I know that I'm not pooping in water. I know that I'm not peeing in water. I know that I'm getting free fertility right here in my garden, making stuff grow like crazy, uh, and this can be done anywhere by anybody. My system, like I said, has been in place for, for 30 years, so, uh, you know, I got, I got, it, I got it going. Uh, whatever you got to do to figure out how to get your pee from you into a place where you can recycle it, do it. Uh, you may want to just build a humanor uh, toilet box with a five-gallon pail underneath it, and uh, just do nothing but pee in it. Just make sure you just make sure that's all you're going to do, because you don't want to contaminate your pee with uh, you know with something that might just happen to be there too. And then uh, save it, mix it with water, bring it out to your plants, watch them grow like crazy. Uh, that's what I have for you today. Uh, the other thing you can use pee for, uh, if you have uh, an abundance and if you have bad weeds is you can use it like agricultural vinegar to kill weeds you just pour straight pea onto whatever uh, uh, I've used it a lot on Canadian thistle and it just it burns it up right away <laughs> it just yeah just like you know like dogs and brown spots on people's lawns in the suburbs uh, yeah so there you go Short enough. Get your pee from you, out to your plants, watch them grow. If you need to, uh, contact the University of uh, Michigan, Ann Arbor, you know, do a search. Put everything in there, human urine, uh, data, experiment, uh, whatever, uh, and there's a lot there. Uh, this is perfectly safe. Like I said, been doing it for 30 years. Never had any bad results. Uh, there you go. Have a nice day and get you some free fertilizer.